Hi guys, welcome to Wildress Corner. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much. We've reached 130 subscribers. Our community is growing. You guys are watching and liking. I'm so appreciative of that. To everyone else who's not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscriber button and remember to ring the notification bell as well so you can become part of the community and you'll get notified each time I upload a video. Today's video is about meditation. Meditation is a very important um, practice to keep. It helps to relieve stress. It's very ancient in nature. So it's been practiced for years and years and it has become more accessible and more um, easy for people to meditate on their own. So usually people say they can't meditate because they are unable to sit still for 20 minutes and i can kind of relate you know it's not easy but that shouldn't be what stops you from relieving stress you know there are seven different types of meditation that i'm going to cover today and hopefully from those seven you'll find one that is easy for you to do um meditation is important because it is a stress reliever like stress is related to so many illnesses like mental illness and it's you know you're stressed when you're just angry and negative and you just bitter the whole time so to get rid of all that bitterness and anger meditation is a great practice to keep highly recommended it is said that um a primary school student has the same stress and anxiety of people that used to get locked up in psych wards two decades ago so we're so stressed that it's from an early age imagine a primary school kid having that much stress how much more you as an adult how much stress are you walking around carrying it is very unhealthy so i wrote the seven down um just to be thorough to make sure that i do not forget to mention anything so i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video and that you're gonna learn something from it so the seven types of meditation um the first one mindfulness meditation this is the most popular type of meditation this is the buddhist way of meditating so it's when you sit in lotus position and you um observe your thoughts but you do not let them consume you so you just watch your thoughts as they go by you do not get in and get sucked into those thoughts and you observe those thoughts with no judgment and total acceptance of what it is um it is concentrated awareness and it's easier to practice by focusing your attention on your breath or an object so this is why people usually get advised to count in their head you know while they meditate focus on counting so um you do not need a teacher for this particular type of meditation so it's easy for one to practice it on their own also the counting helps to kind of um, reduce the amount of uh, thoughts that will pass through your head because for a beginner it's not that easy to just mise the thoughts you know you get sucked into it and for some reason you lost and then you just completely give up on the whole thing because it's hopeless so the counting does help with um helping you to lessen the number of thoughts that go through your head so you just constantly have the numbers going our second type of meditation is spiritual meditation this one is used in many eastern religions this is your christianity um your hinduism so it's similar to prayer um because it is you reflecting and seeking a deeper connection with god essential oils can be used to heighten the experience it is for those who want to deepen their uh, connection with god and to grow spiritually um it is beneficial for those who thrive in silence our third type of meditation is focus meditation this is concentrating using your five senses so you can either use your eyes your nose your tongue your ears or touch so you can stare at um a, the flame of a candle or listening to the sturdy sound of a gong you know um it may be hard 
for beginners but do not be discouraged the more you practice it the easier it will become this is ideal for those who want to focus better in life our fourth type of meditation is movement meditation this is my favorite one like i literally put on the radio and jam like i i dance and i get lost in it and it's just my way of meditating i love it so much one of the most popular forms of this type of meditation is yoga but it is not limited to just yoga you can dance whatever type of dance you want to dance um, also gardening or taking a walk in the woods can have the same experience um one of the most popular forms is yoga i said that and this is for those who like to let their wandering minds wander um, our fifth type of meditation is a mantra meditation. So a mantra is a repetitive sound, word, or phrase. The most popular sound, I'm sure you've come across it, is the om. It's like, om. I look so funny doing this <laughs> but yes that one i know you know what i'm talking about uh this one is popular among those who practice buddhism or hinduism um it can be done out loud or internally it helps one to be in tune with the environment by improving their awareness it is beneficial for those who like repetition and not so much silence our sixth type of meditation is called progressive relaxation this is the tightening and loosening of your muscles uh, muscle groups so you start from the bottom all the way up uh, you can also envision uh, an energy uh, causing through your body and with each movement of that energy tension is being released from your body um, for those who want to unwind before bedtime and our last and seventh type of meditation is loving kindness meditation. This helps strengthen feeling of kindness, compassion, and acceptance towards oneself and others. It can be practiced by opening yourself up to receiving love and kindness for others while you send positive thoughts to your friends, your pals, your associates, and everything else that is on earth. Um, this one is ideal for people that are holding in anger and resentment so if you are resentful angry or unforgiving any form forms of bitterness just send positive loving kindly affirming words their way so if you think of them instead of cussing them out love them instead and that's exactly what you will get in return so I said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again because I think it's important to get started, meditate for five to 10 minutes daily um, and then increase the time from 15 to 20 minutes um, during the course of weeks. So there's a saying that if you cannot meditate for 20 minutes a day, meditate for an hour. I hope it makes sense to somebody. I mean, I know it does make sense to somebody and to those who it doesn't make sense to yet, if you do start practicing meditation, you will understand exactly what they are saying. Um, so yes, yes, yes. Five to 10 minutes to begin, 20 minutes when you are more of a pro. Um, this will help you to reap the optimal benefits of meditation. So the benefits of meditation include lower blood pressure, it reduces anxiety, decreases pain, eases symptoms of depression, improves sleep. So there are many different types of meditation. If one of them seems not to be working for you, try the other one. I really hope you'll find your way, your method, and enjoy yourself. Meditation really is a, a, a vacation for your mind, you know? Just forget about it all. I love you guys. So I'm going to give you guys uh, my bucket list next week. I'm going to try to give you all 50 of the things that are on it. But if it's too long, I might just give you 30, you know. 
because I don't want to do part one and part two of it. So I'll, I'll see. It will depend on on if it's not too lengthy, then I'll decide if it's going to be 30 or 50 of the items on my bucket list. I hope you guys are excited about that. And I love you guys. Thank you so much.